Welcome to 10 Things You Didn't Know About 1989's The Punisher, starring Dolph Lundgren. I am Chad Cruz from BulletproofAction.com and the Bulletproof Podcast. Let's get started with the list. Number 1. The powers that be knew from the start that the budget constraints wouldn't let them shoot New York City, where the Punisher comic book is set. So the original plan was to move the story to the Pacific Northwest and film in either Seattle or Vancouver. Then, New World Pictures Australia stepped in and made the producers an offer they couldn't refuse. Number 2. Despite what some might tell you, including director Mark Goldblatt, Dolph Lundgren had no prior knowledge of the Punisher character before agreeing to be in the film. Number 3. The decision was made early on to not have the Punisher wear the spandex outfit from the comic books of the time with the iconic Skull logo on the front. Director Mark Goldblatt did admit in hindsight it was a mistake. Not having the Punisher's iconic skull incorporated somehow into Lundgren's Punisher wardrobe. Nobody expected the fan backlash that the lack of the logo would cause. The logo actually only appears on the handles of the knives that the Punisher uses throughout the film. Number 4. Comic legend Stan Lee did give the movie his blessing prior to production, but after seeing the finished product, he did admit he thought the film was too violent. Number 5. One of the reasons that The Punisher did not get a theatrical release was due to the poor box office results of Red Scorpion, Dolph Lundgren's first starring vehicle that was released the year prior. Number 6. The scene where Louis Gossett Jr.'s character, Jake Berkowitz, grabs a slice of pizza and eats it after he takes out a mob henchman carrying a pizza box was all improvisation by Lewis during the first take of the scene. Number 7. The original cut of the film featured a look at Frank Castle with his family pre-Punisher. The 15-minute Frank Castle segment was taken out of the beginning of the film and some of that footage would be repurposed as flashbacks in the final cut of the movie. Number 8. There were two other actors considered for the role of Frank Castle, the Punisher. One was Highlander's Christopher Lambert and the other was action icon Steven Seagal. Number 9. One interesting note about filming in Australia, the union rules are such that if a shoot is going to go past the allotted time each day, the crew would get to vote if they wanted to work overtime or not. If they didn't want to work overtime, production would shut down and be picked up the next day. Number 10. The final scene in the movie had to be reshot almost a year after the film wrapped production. The reason for the reshoot was that after a test screening, they realized that the Punisher looked like a cheater in his final fight with the Mafia kingpin Gianni Franco. The set was recreated in LA, and this time it was Franco who did the cheating.